All right. Now, in this section, I want to I want to change your perspective on something. Um, one of the major reasons why life change fails is because we don't understand the dynamics of hunger. I've come to see hunger in a completely different way. I want to talk to you about the joy of hunger pain. All it takes is a simple shift in your perspective and hunger pain can become a joy for you. You say, how's that the case? Let, let, me, let me drop this on you. The hunger means it's working. When you feel that hunger pain, it means it's working. Now, I know you say, well, I, maybe, maybe the change that you're pursuing is not food. And I keep using you know, weight loss as an analogy because it just makes the most sense. But even if you're trying to break pornography or if you're trying to break, uh, perhaps you lash out in anger and you're trying to stop that, whatever it is, at a certain point, you're going to feel the pain of not acting out in that way. You're gonna feel the hunger pain. The hunger pain is the desire for the bad habit. That hunger pain is a good thing. It means that the process is working. Now, I remember um, when I used to work out a lot when I was in high school, I wanted so badly to be muscular. I wanted to be buff. I wanted to be yoked. I wanted to be ripped. I wanted to be shredded. I wanted to be chiseled. And uh, I would lift weights, I'd work out really hard, and I'd wake up in the morning and my muscles would be sore. That moment when I'd wake up in the morning and my muscles were sore was a moment of victory because I felt like, yes! At first, you know, I mean, when you first start working out hard, you wake up in the morning and your whole body is just racked with pain. That's, that's not a good thing. But that little soreness that you get where, you know, sometimes even intense soreness, but it hurts so good. It feels like that soreness is a sign, psychologically, that my workout worked. Like, I did it. And I found that when I would wake up in the morning after a hard workout the day before, if I didn't feel that soreness in my body, I felt like, oh, that wasn't quite as effective of a workout. I would always feel like, man, I, I could have pushed harder. What if you started to think about your hunger pains the way you think about that soreness? The soreness means the workout worked. What if you start to think the hunger pains means the workout worked? Now, uh, and actually, um, that shift for me happened when I, for a season, did OMAD. OMAD is one meal a day. And I did a lot of research about OMAD and that, that particular intermittent fasting protocol uh, is extremely powerful because what it does is, because you go 23 hours basically without eating, 23 to 24 hours without eating, the insulin levels go way low. You don't have any insulin spikes. And because the insulin levels stay low for so long, uh, your body just has to begin burning fat, burning fat, burning fat, burning fat. Uh, so I would have that meal, that big meal, let's say around three o'clock in the afternoon, and then I would feel full. But I found myself waiting for the hunger pains to come, and they would come around 10, 11, 12 o'clock at night. And once I'd feel that hunger pain, I start feeling like, yes, okay, now it's working. Before I felt the hunger pain, when I felt full, my diet's not working right now because I'm full. But in order for, for my body to burn fat, I have to experience hunger. The hunger means it's working. And that shift of perspective for me caused me to begin to celebrate the hunger pain when it came. Now, this is so important because the only way to break free from any bad habit is to develop the skill of saying no to a hunger pain. That is, victory depends upon the ability to say no to a hunger pain when you feel it. When that hunger pain rises up. But the question is, what's going to give me the motivation to say no to the hunger pain? Well, I have to flip it around because for 20 years, 
I saw the hunger pain as a terrible thing. That was the thing I was most afraid of because when I, you know, I don't want to start my diet because I'm going to feel hungry and once I feel hungry I'm going to want to eat and I hate that hungry feeling. I was running from that hungry feeling. I was trying to avoid that hungry feeling. But when that shift happened in my mentality and I began to see that hungry feeling as a benefit, it means it's working. That shift in perspective actually changed my experience. See, often the way you experience something has to do with your perspective of that thing. You think that thing is bad and so you experience it as oppressive. But when you begin to understand that the very thing that you thought was bad is actually to your benefit, now you begin to experience it in a completely different way. And so I want you to begin to experience the joy of hunger. Whatever it is that you're trying to break, wait for that hunger pain to come and then rejoice. Wait for that hunger pain to come and then rejoice. And then when you have successfully rejoiced over your hunger pain and said no to it simultaneously, find a way to celebrate. Tell somebody, call your, your teammate, your partner, and tell him or her, look, man, I felt the hunger pain last night, but I said no to it. And I woke up this morning feeling victory. And so that is, that's a powerful thing. That's a powerful thing. The most power, the two most powerful words in your vocabulary are yes and no. Your success and your failure depend upon your ability to say no to the wrong things and yes to the right things. And if you get it in your mind and heart that these things that you're saying no to are things that are actually trying to destroy your heart, your life, and the things that you're saying yes to, even though they might not be experienced as good things, are things that are trying to build your life, it'll change your experience of your yeses and your noes. Let's get it.